Hi, I'm Gail, and this is my dream tour lineup. If I could open up for K-Flay, that would be absolutely ridiculous. Like, she is so amazing. Um, I originally found her because her songs get synced a lot, and they're just, she does a really interesting, like, talking thing in her music, also paired with singing and her songwriting. Like, her lyric story is really interesting. She's amazing. Um, Halsey, because, do I even gotta say anything? Like, it's freaking Halsey. Like, she's amazing. Um, and her, her song's really hooky, and even just the way, like, in relationships where she was singing about, like, men and women, I thought it was so interesting hearing the different kind of perspectives when you're, like, in love with a woman or if you're, like, going through a breakup with a woman compared to if you're in love with a man and you're going through a breakup with a man. And I, um, thought that was really, really interesting and amazing in the way that she did it. Um, Billie Eilish. I mean, come on, she's fucking insane. Like, I love it. Like, she's just so good. Um, so is Phineas. He's absolutely amazing. If I could open up for Aretha Franklin, like, she was my first concert. I absolutely love her. She's one of the reasons why I do music. Um, I don't know if I would, like, I don't know if my original songs would, like, pair well before an Aretha show. I'd probably literally write songs just so I could have the honor of doing that. Um, Lord, love of my life, I want to marry her. Um, I want to know all of her deep dark secrets and all the things that keep her up at night. Um, she's absolutely amazing, incredible songwriter. Um, I just, she's the type of person where I just want to know how her brain works. Um, Nonga Eras is also the same for me. I believe I pronounced her name right. Um, it's, it's, I haven't, I haven't looked up how to say it, but she's absolutely amazing. She's the same type of person where I just want to like, I want to write a song with her just, but like I'd want to shut up and just like know her thought process because I just literally like cannot comprehend how she can like come up with the things that she comes up with. Um, Julie Michaels, absolute love of my life. I will fight JP Sachs for her. Um, her songwriting is absolutely incredible and I really love the way that she can like help an artist have their own artistry while being able to maintain her own and do her own stuff. Youngblood, I think Youngblood is sick. His music is so good. Like it's just really interesting and he's also very himself and different and he's like not afraid to be. Um, Harry Styles, come on, just so I can look at him. Like I'd just be like, I wouldn't even like have to sing. I mean, I'd love to sing, but I, he's, I love his music. His music is really, um, there's something very classic about it and I feel like it can really stand the test of time. Like I feel like in 10 to 15 years, those songs are still going to be great, um, just as they were when they first came out. And not everybody can do that. And I think also the music he came out with after One Direction, I'm a big One Direction fan. I was like a 1D or 100%. But then, like, seeing the transition of him becoming Harry Styles, becoming his, coming out his own artist project is amazing. Um, Jeremy Zucker, love his stuff. His production's genius. He's a great songwriter, very hooky. Alexander23, he's sick. Um, Amy Allen, I would love to open up for her. Or just even just, like, say hi to her would be an honor. Um, DeLacy, her stuff is amazing. Her album was incredible. Um, Upsall, her album Lady Jesus, I'm literally obsessed with it. Incredible songwriter, um, does things very, like her perspective on things is really interesting and I like the way she does it. Olivia O'Brien, her live performance, like the way she just moves on stage and her songs, I really love them. Um, and like she is a songwriter and is amazing. And yeah, I think that's, that's all my brain can come up with.